So, yeah. How's it going? You guys doing good? Uh, okay. We're back. With this shit. I don't really know what the fuck we're doing anymore. But we just got uh, Alexander or Fuck Robot, who has high magic refine. Don't mind if I do. You have some interesting things. I like you. Um, but yeah, I don't really... I should get a I mean, what did you Spirit and... Oh, but he has... He has ability three. He doesn't have... It is... It is indeed selfie. Congratulations. You get the fuck robot. Even though he's uh, an infectious thing for you. Because you don't have anything to do with the thing. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have anything to do with that. Yeah. Who do you have? You have fuck bros, fuck fishy, fuck queef, and fuck robot. Well, fuck fishy is learning something. Fuck bros is learning something. Uh, fuck queef. Kind of learning something. Let's fuck pork. There we go. And then you're learning a very probably useful skill. Okay. Um. I think we have to head to the orphanage, right? Wherever that was. That forest looks like there's gonna be like a chocobo thing in it. Maybe we'll pick with that. No problems. I g come on. Damn it. Okay, so this time it actually let us in. We're meeting Matron. Man, I'm nervous. There's so much we want to ask. Wait, sorry. Sorry. There's so much we want to ask the Matron. So we didn't kill a deer. Hey, Sid. Um. Oh, okay. Many thanks for your hard work. <laughs> Are you angry with me? I don't blame you. All I do is talk big, but in times of trouble, I run away. I was in a no-win situation. Your defeat would be the end of you. Your victory would mean losing my wife. I just couldn't bear to face either outcome. I don't care about myself, but please, forgive a dear. Why? To try to kill us. Multiple times. My children. Please. Forgive me. I raised you as my own, yet still I... We feel the same way. We fought you. Even though we knew you were our matron. Matron. You are seeds. You cannot back out of a battle, I know. You are magnificent. However, it is not over yet. At any time, I may. I have been possessed all this time. I was at the mercy of Sorceress Ultimecia. Ultimecia is a sorceress from the future. 
A sorceress many generations ahead of our time. Ultimecia's objective is to find Alone. She is after Alone's mysterious power. I knew Alone very well. Ultimecia is a very fearful sorceress. Her hate is filled with ang her heart is filled with anger and hate. There was no way I was going to let Ultimecia get a hold of Alone. The only thing I could do was surrender my soul to Ultimecia and lose control of my mind. That was the only way I could save Alone. And the end result, well, you all know. The sorceress that appeared in Galbadia was in fact Ultimecia inside my shell. Ultimecia has yet to achieve her goal. I believe she may use my body again to carry out her plans. I plan to make a stand this time, but if that does not work, I may have to face you in battle once again. I ask for your support, young seeds. Have you all heard of Sorceress Adele before? Hmm. She's the sorceress who ruled Esthar during the time of the Sorceress War. No one knows where she is now. You mean they didn't kill her? The Galbadians must have thought that I was the sorceress who received Sorceress Adele's powers. However, that is not the case. I received the powers of the previous sorceress at the age of five. Which means, I believe Sorceress Adele is still alive, and that Ultimecia released my body in order to, to use the body of Sorceress Adele. Sorceress Adele is the type who will not hesitate to use her powers for her own selfish desires. Should Sorceress Ultimecia for the future bequeath her anger and hatred unto Adele, their power would be unimaginable. Sorceress Adele. Okay, wait, no. Right. Please listen to what Adia has to say. Who knows when she may be possessed again? So. I'm sorry, but. I realize that there's time travel in this game already to a certain extent. With the whole stuff to do with Laguna, which we still don't understand why that's of any significance other than a tiny bit of exposition about fuck bitch's parents and alone. Other than that, Laguna's whole stuff has not really meant anything. But now, they're fucking saying that a sorceress from the future, in the far future, at least a couple of generations, she is somehow able to send magic back in time without Alone's power to try to find Alone. to use her power for something. So, time-traveling sorceress ish wants the power to time travel. Makes sense. No, I don't want to talk to you. I've spoken to you. I want to talk to Selfie. And the quiz. Okay, no, the fuck. There we go. Fuck Leon, we're leaving already? I've heard enough. She also doesn't say anything else. I understand to what listening to what Matron has to say is important. But. Fuck bitch. Matron, do you know what's wrong with fuck bitch? Fuck bitch. Fuck bitch is the girl in light blue. I remember vaguely what happened to her. She was with us when we fought you. After the battle, 
Her body was cold. She didn't move. Did fuck bitch die? No! Forgive me, fuck Leon. I don't think I can be of any help. It's alright. Fuck Leon, I understand how you feel, but you're in a position of leadership. The other students at Garden have a right to know about the outcome of the battle and what's to come. Take what information you can get here back to Garden. Remember, if it wasn't just fuck bitch, everyone fought. I understand, but... But, 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 this isn't something a leader should say. Mm. Damn it! Broke my hand. Ultimecia's objective is to find a loan. The first time we met was the day I became a sea. We met again in Timber. A loan's mysterious power, sending one's consciousness back into the past. So, Ultimecia wants to use a loan's power, right? We had a lot of arguments at first, but in time, things began to change. I get it. Ultimecia wants to send her consciousness from this period further into the past. Again. Time traveling sorceress wants the ability to time travel. The game has just told us she's from the future. Just told us. And it's already telling us, oh yeah, she wants the power so she can go into the past. From how the game's explaining it, I'm guessing that it's like some weird, oh well, she has the power to come back this far, but can't go any further without alone. Why does she need to go further into the past? What possible, possible motivation is there for some entity in the far future to want to go even further into the past? When if she changed anything in this current time, it would already have changed her present. That's like, oh, you know, I want to go back in time and kill Hitler before the Second World War so that he can't commit all those atrocities. Like, that's kind of like what Ultimecia is doing, is like gone back in time a bit. Then there's the next level of like, oh, well, I've killed Hitler, now I want to go and kill Napoleon. I'm not happy with just killing Hitler. It's a common gamer uh, problem, thrill. I, I don't have anything to play, has a list of games. Yeah, but I don't want to play those ones. That's why I... The problem with me is as a streamer, I deliberately don't play games unless I can stream them. Like, there's a heap of games that I've deliberately put up playing so that I can stream them. Um, and so I have a growing list of games that I, I plan to stream at some point. Though eventually the list sort of just becomes, well, I can't be fucked to stream that anymore. And I just never play. And that's how I have over 400 games on Steam. Anyway. What's she going to do in the past? You look at her. You smile when her eyes meet. Time compression! Mr. Popo? Are you gonna put me in the hyperbolic time chamber? Time compression? It made me feel calm. Tranquil. It's time magic! Past, present, and future get compressed into an itty bitty little pill that you can take, and it will solve all your problems. What's gonna happen to the world? Why do something like that? Fuck, bitch. Give me another chance. Can't even imagine a world where time is compressed. Yo, fuck Leanne! 
They're not even listening. So basically, all we have to do is prevent Ultimecia from getting a hold of a loan. I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry, we're coming from a military style organization. Granted, we're mercenaries, but we're coming from like a military point of view to a certain extent. The enemy, who has the ability to hop between different bodies so we can't kill her, and also has the ability to travel through time to a certain extent at least, um, is after one specific person. One person who, without, she presumably cannot complete her goal, whatever that is. And so we're protecting that one individual from an enemy that we cannot kill, cannot stop. Why aren't we killing alone? I'm sorry, I feel so invested in her character. I've known her story for all of about five minutes. But... The entire story of this game is centered around... Time-traveling sorceress going after... Time-traveling possible sorceress? I don't know, I still don't quite understand what a sorceress is. They mentioned something about power transferring from one person to another, so I don't know what's going on with that. It doesn't seem like it's like a different race like the Cetra from Final Fantasy VII. It's, it's just like a power that people inherit, but you don't know who's going to inherit it until the previous one dies or some shit. But literally, our job is to stop Something we cannot stop, because it's in the future, from getting someone that we could just kill. What kind of repercussion is there going to be if we kill alone? I know that from a character point of view, uh, we, we all grew up with her, as we remembered five minutes ago. So again, I just feel so strongly for this character. For, f for five minutes, she has been our Onechan. She has been our big sister, who we care about oh so deeply. If we kill her, everything's so much. Presumably, Ultimecia can't travel further back in time for some MacGuffin reason. So if we take her out of the present, Ultimecia can never achieve her goal unless someone with the same power turns up. But if someone with the same power turns up, similar to how power is inherited by sorceresses from what I understand, why is Ultimecia in the past to get that power? Like, if the power is inherited, there must be someone in Ultimecia's time. If not, get rid of a loan, her goal cannot be achieved. Problem solved. Ultimecia has no reason to be in this timeline. If Ultimecia destroys the world, she destroys her own timeline. Or, if there's going to be some kind of bullshit where Ultimecia is the sorceress that inherits Alone's power in the future, then how do we know that that power stacks? Wait. I'm sorry, but just the story for this game is fucking stupid. Like, the story... There is no story. There is no overarching reason why you're doing anything until you're deep into the second disc. Then you finally find out what your motivation for everything is other than just... I'm a mercenary. Give me money. 
Like, that, that's literally our motivation through the first disc is, oh, I'm a mercenary, this is my contract, give me money. Second disc, it's like, oh yeah, and it turns out everybody knew each other as children, but you didn't remember because GFs cause amnesia. Ha 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 ha. Like, oh, Amnesia, yeah, that would be a great plot point. Oh, and also, the main villain at the minute is basically your foster mum. Oh, and the headmaster, he's your foster dad. But yeah, he never mentioned any of this. Any of this. Oh, but Irvine, that character that you met at a certain point and acted like he didn't know any of you. Yeah, he's remembered everything the whole fucking time. What do you mean this doesn't make sense? Oh yeah, you know how there's this amazingly powerful uh, individual in the world? Yeah, she's a sorceress. What's a sorceress? We're not going to tell you. But there's multiple of them, and they play a critical role. So critical that there was even a war named after them. Do you understand anything about that war? No, because we haven't told you. What do you mean we haven't told you? If you read every single tutorial, or if you went back to the the terminal at the beginning of the game, you could read about sorceresses. It was a sentence that said that sorceresses were people that inherited power. That was it. That, from memory, that is all that we got told about sorceresses, and that there was a sorceress war. I don't know why there was a sorceress war. I don't know if the sorceress war was in the time of Laguna. Is that how Laguna's storyline is important? Because at the minute, the only thing that it has done for us is told us, oh yeah, alone was a little girl in this village. Her parents died. She was an orphan. You guys were orphans. For some reason, Laguna, who is presumably still alive somewhere, unless something has changed, is not looking after alone anymore. So she got sent to orphanage, where all of you guys were. What happens if I go to Windhill? I want to find out what happens if I go to Windhill. I think I'm going to do that. I think, I'm, I think that's going to be the next thing we do, is I'm going to go out of my way to go to Windhill and just see what the fuck is going on there. Because if, if what was her name? Was it Rain? Was it Rain? The, the, the woman who Laguna's love interest was before, no, after Julia, who is Fuckbitch's mother. Like, okay, I kind of like that the characters are all sort of involved through the various times, but it's in just such a convoluted and almost pointless way. Honestly, it would make more sense, the story would make more sense if um, Alone was the daughter of Laguna. That may make sense as to why Alone was sending us to Laguna's time. Because it's a daddy. Or, if Laguna was Fuckbitch's dad. And we didn't get... Or, you know, was Fuckbitch or uh, Leon's mum. Dad. No, Laguna. Laguna went through changes as time went on. Um, if he was Fuck Leon or Fuckbitch's mum... Um, it would make more sense. Um, as to why, like, oh, we're seeing this. But then, if it was Fuckbitch's dad, it would have made sense that we didn't start getting flashbacks until we met Fuckbitch. But we had our first flashback before we met Fuckbitch. Like, I realise that I am just sitting here and debate, like, just pulling apart this game without trying to find out more, but I just... This is the third disc! It's taken us 25 hours to reach this point. The story still hasn't kicked in properly to make any fucking sense. It almost feels like the, the studio... And I was saying before that they were just like... You know what would be a good idea? Let's have time travel. 
The villain is time traveling from the future. Yeah, but what should their goal be? <sighs> to be able to time travel. <sighs> yeah. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, Thrill, but if it is, you know my stance on this. I will, I will react to that plot point if slash when it becomes relevant. <laughs> but that does sound like the kind of bullshit this game would pull. Some sick sense, motherfucker. Just like... I, I just want to see, like, a thought... You know how you make those, like, um... Logic trees, that's the name, logic trees. Where it's like, okay, you have one idea, then you go to the next idea. And, like, you make a chain to, to sort of reach a conclusion from an origin point going through all these different ideas. So it's like, oh, you know... It's, uh... Let's say the first idea is, okay... Final Fantasy game, we need a main villain. Who's it gonna be? Time traveling sorceress. Okay, how are we gonna get from Final Fantasy to time traveling sorceress? Let's stick an orphanage in there. Let's stick a bunch of characters who all knew each other from childhood. But then, let's, in between those two points, let's put amnesia, because amnesia's cool right now. Yeah, amnesia, there we go. And then let's have, you know, summons. Summons are a big part of Final Fantasy. Okay, let's stick summons up there. Let's let's tie the summons to amnesia. That's how we'll get through that amnesia bit. Right, then uh, what else? What else? Okay. Ah, main villain, sorceress. Okay, time traveling. But let's go from orphanage to sorceress. Let's stick their mom in there. Okay, but then... We're not going to actually have them kill their mom, because that would be too too hardcore. I mean, we already screwed our, over our fan base by killing Aeris in the previous game. Okay, what we're going to do is, they have to defeat their mom, but they don't kill her. And then it turns out that the sorceress goes to a different person. There we go, it's a separate entity. Okay, and then... Hmm, hmm. The sorceress needs to want something. She needs to want- she needs to want the power to time travel. How's she gonna get that? Well, we've already got one person that can time travel. Let's have another person that can time travel. And this first person that's time traveling is going after this second person that's time traveling. Okay, okay. And then... Let's have... Let's have that per- the second person that can time travel interact with the main party so that then they time travel a little bit. And we'll have two parallel stories because one story isn't good enough. I really wouldn't be surprised if that was the development process for this story. It it does just sort of feel like, okay, let's get... It's like a checklist of plot points. Okay, uh, 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 mercenaries. Um, uh, mercenaries hired for a job. Um, um, uh, uh, they get, get into a contract they can't get out of. Um... That the person they're in a contract with is important. Uh, uh, time travel, fuck it! Uh, uh... What about all the other weird shit I've played? What, like Nino Kuni? Or Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts has a ridiculously convoluted storyline. But that's because it's over the entire series. Each individual game, not that confusing, except maybe some of the spin-offs. Because they were just fucking weird. But... This is a standalone game. This, this, I'm... It, treat this as, never mind that it's a part of the Final Fantasy series, because they're not actually linked in this case. So, let's just treat this as a game that came out. Let's say a game came out now, and it was all about being a mercenary. 
and you had to go up against this force. Am I on Dick 3 yet? Yep, I am on Dick 3. The first two dicks didn't satisfy me, and now this one just has me ranting and raving about how it curves off into a weird direction. But... Seriously... I... I knew that I would probably have a hard time with this game. From my previous... I never got more than three hours into the game. It's nearly as old as I am, but I never got more than three hours into the game, despite trying multiple times, because of the, the junction system. That, 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 that makes it very difficult to be accessible to first-time players, unless you really try with it. The story, the, it's, the story is like wet tissue paper. For the first disc, there, there, I have no motivation to do anything. I'm just sort of going through hitting things with my sword, which is also a gun. Because hey, that sounds cool. Uh, here, you've got some basic white bitch in a mini dress that uses nunchucks. Because hey, we're zany. I just don't understand what they were trying to do. Because I know Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII had amazing, like, world building in it. The entire game, you're, like, fed these little bits of information. You're fed these little bits of character development. But even from the beginning, you, you have, like... Uh, fucking Cloud starts off basically as a mercenary. It's the same kind of beginning as this, except Final Fantasy VII does it right. It has quirky characters, it has humour, but it doesn't have just random little tidbits of dialogue that seem like they're completely out of place for the sake of being funny. Or trying to be funny. Like, Cloud is troubled, and yes, he's kind of a whiny bitch like all of the Final Fantasy main characters, but nowhere near as bad as Squall, who is just like, Oh god, you don't understand me. It's not just a phase. But like, Edgelord, the whole time, he has no, we have no understanding of his motivations to do anything. Oh, sis. Oh, sis. We don't find out about her until the second disc. We don't find out why she's important until the third disc. We still don't really understand why Alone's important. I probably won't understand until I finish the game and then look up theories as to why she's important. This game has so much potential. If the junction system was described properly, if the tutorials didn't go about wording things in such a way that it's like, to do this thing that you is pretty self-explanatory because you just do this thing. No, what you do is you go to this place, then you get this bit, you do this, and you do that. Instead of just saying, put the magic in the slot and you get the magic's power. No, okay, so, you take this magic, you go over to this part, and what you do is, by putting the magic here, you get this. But, if you do this, you can also get the magic here. Magic is different, but we're not going to explain that, so enjoy figuring that one out yourself. I just, I... I'm losing my own train of thought, and... Ah! I've gone off on like a 20 minute run. But I needed it. I needed it. This is gonna be fun to fucking edit out. <laughs> Later. Just. Final Fantasy VII. Be better than this. Final Fantasy IX was better than this. How did they get this so wrong? Like, it has potential, but it just, like, lets you down at every possible turn. 
And the thing is, it doesn't even matter if at the end of the game, this they manage to somehow make this all make sense. Because that means you've had to force your way through a game that doesn't make sense just to get the resolution of, oh, that's why they did it. That defeats the purpose of the game. Like, there are, there are thriller movies and crime movies where you're, like, trying to figure out who did something, but you still know what they did. And you're given a reason to care about it. In this one, it's like... Oh, we're gonna tell you who did it, like, halfway through the game. But it turns out it was actually their twin evil sister. You're gonna find that out at, like, three quarters into the movie. But then, at the very end of the movie, you're gonna find out what they did, and why they did it. What are you gonna do for the first half of the movie? Oh, you know, just do stuff. Flying buildings. Alien race that can turn into fucking whatever it wants when it evolves. Oh, and we're going to have flashbacks to a uh, previous character. We're not going to explain why. Are they actually involved in what the person did? Probably not. Enough of a wrong. I'm just... It's been a long day. I got ready for work. I was ready to go to work. And then I get told, oh yeah, we don't need you at work. After I'd like spent the whole day preparing myself to go to work. Deliberately not doing other things that I would have done if I knew I wasn't going to go to work. Take it out in the game. Okay. Yeah, but we're going back to garden. We have to let everyone know. Hey, we're worried about fuck bitch too, you know. Then why don't you forget it? That about covers the update. Our task at hand is to find Alone, then we'll deal with Ultimecia. I believe that Ado Alone is on the White Seed ship. We're setting out to look for it. I wonder where it could be. We'll gather information for a while. Be prepared for battle at any time. And Sorceress Adir is back at her home. She's probably not our enemy anymore. Let's just leave her alone. Is fuck bitch in the infirmary? I'll go visit her later. I want to say this in front of Quistus and you, but I don't know if some people will be so forgiving. So, I now need to find... To find the orphanage. Oh, it's by the coast. In a map. Which is predominantly ocean. Now, go find a ship. A ship that is white. That is all. Hey, booty kissing girl. How's he going? Now, here's the thing. 
I legitimately don't know if this ship is going to be mobile or not. Is, is it going to be something similar to uh, the ultimate weapon whilst you're fighting that, where it moves around uh, whilst you're doing it and you have to sort of chase after it a bit? Or is it just, now nah, you go here and it's there? Because honestly, it could be both. Have I been powering through this game? Well, I'm on the third disc now. And the story, the story has just made me mad. Because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to head to Windhill. Because I want to prove to myself if there is anything of importance at Windhill. The place that alone is from. The place that we had an entire flashback segment about. You go, Badian. Hey, youngsters, what can we do here? We're mercenaries hired by this town. You better not mess with us. Plus, we graduated from garden, you know? Huh? You're garden students too? And you're actually a seed? So that makes you our junior. Keep up the good work. You a customer or just looking to play? never seen you kids around before. What brings you here? There used to be a flower shop in the town square. It was owned by a woman named Rain. She lived there with a little girl named Alone. Rain was so good with flowers. She made wreaths for her harvest festivals. Her wreaths of white flowers were most beautiful. You'll never see Rain th wreaths like that again. Alone was so beautiful wearing those wreaths over her head and prance around like an angel. So Rain is probably dead. Confirmed. Rain probably dead. Hey guys, better watch your step. Hey, watch where you're going. The flowers are beautiful, but don't get distracted by them. Grandma? 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 How are you today? Magnificent weather, isn't it? Are you here to visit an acquaintance? What do you think of our village? It's very small and boring, isn't it? Okay, so you're not actually of any importance. So far, all we've had is the probability not just possibility but probability that rain is dead which we could kind of surmise from the fact that alone was at the orphanage anyway originally we were opposed to letting outsiders into our village but i'm glad we hired those two guys for security before they came the kids couldn't even play outside Oh, hello. I've never seen you all before. Are you here to buy flowers? You see these flowers in the casks? I grew all of them. Aren't they pretty? 
Yeah, I have a feeling that Queen and Booty Kissing Gal are gonna get along just, just fine. No, you cheated! Stop it! You can't get me in here, na 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 na. This is where Rain lived. Rain? No. Hey, who do you think you are barging into my house like this? Get out of here right now! I just came to see your pussy. I thought I told you to- What's with you? Do I remind you of something? I'm not a ghost or anything, alright? Then again, there are spirits lurking within these walls. Spirits didn't inspire my art. Scared you there for a sec, huh? It's true, though. Often I would sit in this room quietly, and all of a sudden, sense a mysterious fragrance in the air. There are white flowers downstairs. Can you sense that fragrance? You got a booty and you got tips. Wait, what? I got a booty and you got lips. We'll work things out. Your real name is Verity, but most people call you Booty Kissing Gal for reason. <sighs> well, our our main character in Final Fantasy X was named Kitten after a person in chat who had named themselves Kitten because they were into pet play. So, you know, this channel is very... sexually open and diverse. I will regularly just chat shit about random things. And very regularly create homoerotic subplots or sexual undertones. So, Rain is, is dead. Rain is dead. What happened to Laguna, then? This place still has gunshots. Covering it. This is presumably at least ten years after the events from the flashback. like a, a ball. This... Okay, it isn't... It isn't just me. One, I collide with it. Two, it's on a layer above my feet. So, I, well, we don't know if Alone could see the future, we just know that she can send people to the past. Two things. Okay, two two things right now. One, what is the firekeeper from Dark Souls doing here? The one from Anno Londo. Two, why is there a disembodied leg by the staircase? Like, 
No, seriously, why is there a random leg? My husband is very upset by the fact that the vase is missing. A ghost, oh my, please, there's no such thing, is there? My precious vase is missing. The vase that has been passed down in my generation for many generations. Passed down in my family, I meant to say. So many unusual things happened lately. I bet you there's a ghost here. Uh, have I ever played Final Fantasy IX? Yes, though not in several years. It will be the next Final Fantasy that I stream. Uh, as a heads up, I prefer to not discuss plot points. Chocobo? Chocobo! Chocobo, 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 chocobo. Chocobo. Um. Huh? Geisel Greens. What? And a piece of the vase. Did, did you steal the vase, Chocobo? What the fuck? And now a phoenix down? Bitch, give me more stuff. Oh! Big Mama. Okay. Um. Yeah, nine. Actually, I think nine is my favorite. So here's the thing: seven is my favorite from the like PlayStation One series. So seven, eight, and nine. Seven is my favorite for the story and the characters. Nine is just... It has so much charm, and it's just f fun and accessible. Seven can feel a little dark, and materia can be a little confusing to some people. Nine is like, it feels light, it feels fun, um, it just has bundles of like charm to it. Nine is the game I recommend to people trying to get into the classic Final Fantasies. Like either nine or ten. The problem with ten is that the way that you level is can be a little weird with the whole sphere grid kind of thing. It's a bit weird. Um, whereas like nine, nine is a piece of this. What's up? The, the, the broken piece! My ever so precious vase. Now in such pathetic shape. Oh well, I'll have to glue the pieces back together. Let me know if you find any more. Your side quest. I came all the way here to confirm something I already knew, basically, and to get a side quest. I've still not learnt anything about Laguna. Fifteen is fun, but it's kind of difficult to try and replay. At least I think so. Like, I enjoyed Fifteen, but I haven't played any of the DLCs yet. And it's kind of difficult to, like, 
go all the way back through it because of the, the way that it was designed. Ten two was fun. Uh, I never completed ten two until I streamed it as part of a twenty four hour stream, and it was just so painful. It was so fucking painful. This is where it's supposed to be, isn't it? How am I struggling? To find something. Did the game tell me to find it? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're gonna assume that the game actually, after telling me to find the white seed ship, wants me to speak to fuck bitch. We're going to assume that I'm trying to sequence break a sequence which isn't properly described. Quistis says, oh, maybe I should visit fuck bitch. As in her, her character should visit. Not, oh, you should visit. I fucking hate you. <laughs> How? How did this game get it so wrong? It feels like it's punishing me for playing it. That, it, honestly, it feels like the game is trying to punish me for trying to play it without knowing what I'm doing. And I know that that kind of sounds like Dark Souls, but it's not. Dark Souls tells you how to play the game in the beginning. It's just that you're not good at being able to play it. Until you learn. This game, it's like, oh no, you understand how to play the game. You just don't know how the game is played. Because we don't tell you. Fuck, bitch. You feel so cold. My necrophilia is kicking in. Just stay perfectly still. Are you going to be like this forever? God, I hope so. I knew my crime would be cold, so here, I got a heater for your thighs. If anyone gets that reference, it's a little piece of heaven. Isn't there anything I can do? You are so full of life. You know, I have this spell. It's called life. I also have this spell. It's called full life. Maybe... If I rub the two together... Now you don't even make a sound. I want to hear your voice. This is like talking to a wall. Fuck, bitch. Call my name. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? I'm spent. Hmm? Oh, for fuck's sake. Did everyone's junctions get unequipped? Kind of feels like it. Why the heck do I have to do this? Because we have no money.
All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's kind of my fault that we stayed at the hotel so long. But heck, I'm not cut out to be an actor. So you say, but we know you're really quite excited. Okay, everyone, take your positions. Man, I can't believe this director. Making a movie with me, an amateur? The heck am I supposed to do? Alright, alright, so we were lucky I got the job as long as we make some money, right? Are, are you serious? What kind of costume is this? Ah, ah, ah! No complaining. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, look at you. Not bad. This is your co-star, playing the part of the sorceress. Now, what I want you to do is walk up to her, then you're gonna say, Hey, I heard you have a dragon problem that needs fixing. Then, she's going to lick your sword. Then, well, she's gonna get on her knees and then, uh, <clears throat> We're gonna really get into filming this. Hi, nice to meet you. All we need now is someone to play the dragon. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Bad Dragon. Don't Google that, kids. Oh, perfect. Hey, you back there. Yeah? I'm kind of in a squeeze here. The guy playing the dragon is sick. Do you think you can put on the dragon costume and kind of just walk down here? I'll pay you. I guess so. Okay, just be on standby over there. Okay, people, here we go. Scene 12, Death of the Sorceress. Ready? Now you're gonna plunge your sword deep inside her. But remember which sword you're supposed to be using, okay? Action! Oh, Sir Knight, save me from the wicked dragon. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll save you from the dragon. Darn it, I'm getting all nervous here. What's with this gun blade? I haven't used one of these since training. Kind of like this? Hey, not bad. I'll just put in some voiceovers. Okay, bring on the dragon! Hey, come on, guys! The dragon? Alright, here we go. That's a... Uh, some really impressive CGI. Wow, just like the real thing. Excellent work, Kiros. Wait a minute. Was the costume that big? Whoa, Kiros is taking this seriously. Man, looks like the real thing. Ugh. Jeez, take it easy, Kiros. What the? Is this the real thing? What? No wonder. What am I doing? I'm getting out of here. Well, Sir Knight, it's all yours. S Sir Knight, I, I must bid you farewell. H hey, don't just leave me here. <sighs> You're not gonna let me go. Hmm, the gun blade. I'm... Alright, let's go! Are you fucking kidding? Oh god... The music in the background as well. I feel like it should be playing the Benny Hill theme. It basically already is. 
also welcome back Voodoo Gamer Gal. Is it dead? Now's my chance! Run! That's an unhappy dragon. So what the fuck happened to Kyrus? Is he dead? Is there another one? Is there a fucking another one? Darn stupid dragons! Where the hell is Kyrus? Laguna, did you call? Yeah! Wait long enough? Yeah. Okay, we were just talking about uh, Final Fantasy X Part 2 a minute ago. Did Laguna just go through a dress sphere change? Because it fucking looked like it. Alright, time to kick some dragon butt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's not junk. I'm happy to fight it now. What's up, brother? Probably should have saved. Also, where's, um... Where's war? I fucked up! I fucked up! I fucked up! <laughs> Lagoon is using fire magic on his weapon. Against the fire dragon. Didn't think that. Uh, anyway, have a nearly naked lady. No? I'm gonna use your own magic against you, bitch. Ah. Oh. 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 No, that's wind damage. Wait, no, it's not wind, it's thunder. It's thunder damage. I might be okay. If it was fuck grief, I might be fucked. I really should have said it. Let me fuck this up. Bad. I'm good at video games. Okay, and other times, I suck. I suck the biggest, baddest dragon dick. Um, and this is a very bad dragon. And it's big and angry looking. It's trying to kill me. I don't know what I can do about that. Use some guy so greens on it! Wait, what? Wait. What? That is not what I expected to happen. Got a 
attack. Oh yeah. I really fucked myself here. How much health does this thing have? Okay, okay, it's it's at about half health. Okay. You know what? Basically, I'm just gonna only attack with Kiros because I really kind of fucked myself by accident. I mean, sometimes I fuck myself on purpose, but this wasn't one of those times. I wonder if I had the card command, if that would work. Because I know that this guy is... There is a card for the Ruby Dragon. I just don't know if this guy can go into it. He can't have too much health left. I'm sorry about this guy. <laughs> this, this... I did not... I, I forgot that I was using... Fire base uh, kind of weapon thing. Oh yes, blood pain. Yeah, that's what I fucking needed. Good night, sweet dragon. Can I please change Lagunas? <laughs> Imagine if they were both using Fireaga. On their weapons, I would be fucked. <laughs> How many are there? They just keep coming. We're out of here. Did, did you really just run away? What is that? What, you mean the floating lighthouse looking motherfucker? I can't disconnect. What is this connect thing? Is it you, Fucklehan? Yeah. Connect is just what I call it. It's when I use my special power. Oh, I know. I must be asleep. That's why I can't control it. I'm sorry, Fucklehan. Just let me use your spirit for a little while longer. Let me go back. She ain't here either. If I may ask, what happened to this alone? She was kidnapped by Estar soldiers. I've been traveling, trying all I can to get inside Estar, but... We were looking for a successor to the Estar sorceress, Adele? Yeah, yeah, exactly it. Is she your daughter? No, but she's just so cute. Oh, I wish I could hear her voice. I want to hear fuck bitch's voice. Is something the matter? No, just the fairies. 
I don't care if it's in the past or what. I want to hear fuck bitch. I want to see fuck bitch. That way, there might be a chance to save her. You can't change the past. I just found that out. When I was kidnapped, Uncle Laguna went on a journey to find me. But because he did, Uncle Laguna wasn't able to be by Rain's side when she died. No! No! I had already discounted the possibility that Fuck Leon was Laguna's child. I had already eliminated that possibility because I thought Alone was about the same age. Maybe only a couple of years. No. Don't you do me like this game. Rain wanted to show Laguna her new baby. Rain kept calling out for Laguna, so no matter what, I wanted Laguna to stay in the village. But it didn't work. I can no longer make it back to that moment. Nor so. I can only send you inside someone I've met before. I'm sorry, fuck Leon. I'm about to disconnect. I'll try again to speak to you this way. Sis! Alone? I'm... I want to hear fuck bitch's voice. I can see you if we go back in time. Maybe even change things. Alone! Alone, can you hear me? Send me back to the moment fuck bitch went into a coma. Hello? You won't answer me? I know she's on the White Seed ship. White Seed? A deer seed? A deer seed? Maybe a deer would know the whereabouts of the ship. Then I can see alone. And maybe I can go back. Fucking Oh, we should go and find the alone who's on the white seed ship. Oh, maybe I should go and visit fuck bitch. Oh, oh, re mm. Mm. 